What's going on folks? Uh, today we're going to talk about what's actually underneath the hood of the Drift Fox. I've been pretty transparent about everything that's gone into this build, but uh, when it comes to the motor, I've actually played those cards a little bit close to my chest. So, um, if you guys can remember back to uh, right before I rebuilt this motor, I showed you guys a bunch of GT40 parts and I know a lot of you guys think that that's what went into this car but I ended up changing my mind as far as what I wanted to do and I went in a completely different direction. So, um, today I'm actually going to take you under the hood and I'm going to show you what's actually done to this thing. Okay, so starting at the top of the motor, we've got a 75 millimeter BBK throttle body and this has been ported and polished. Uh, moving further into the motor, we've got the Edelbrock replica. Um, this is actually a Typhoon intake, but it's actually exactly the same as the Edelbrock performer intake. It just doesn't have the logo on the side. This has also been ported and polished as well, the upper and the lower. Uh, moving down, we've got Edelbrock Performer, RPM heads. Uh, these heads also supposedly have titanium valves in them. I did not verify that for myself, but um, either way, this is an awesome performing set of heads. Uh, moving back up to the top of the motor, we've got the BBK um, adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Um, this right here is probably my favorite part of my engine bay. I've got the Cobra. Uh, powered by Ford valve covers. These are the retro style valve covers and these things are extremely hard to get and it's just I love popping my hood looking at these things. Uh, next up we have um, underneath the valve covers Scorpion 1.7 roller rockers and those actually give an increased open and close ratio uh, for the cam that's in there so it basically enhances the cam. Normally in these cars you'd see a 1.6 rocker so these have the 1.7s, and as far as my cam goes, I have a TrickFlow Stage 1 cam. So with the 1.7 rockers, it makes it a little bit closer to like a TrickFlow Stage 2 cam. Um, in the front of the motor, I've got a brand new Comp Cams timing chain, plus brand new um, timing gears as well. Um, there is no MAF on this setup because I'm powered by a Megasquirt 3 standalone computer. Um, but um, I do have this uh, Pro-M MAF that's actually tuned for the injectors in this car, which are 30 pound per hour injectors. Uh, so that's pretty much it as far as the motor goes. Um, one thing I forgot, uh, this is an aftermarket alternator. Uh, I don't remember where it came from, but this is an upgrade from the typical V6 alternator that a lot of people upgrade to. So uh, you're getting more power from that as well. And then I've got the BBK long tube headers down there going to a BBK H pipe. All right, so that's the rundown on the motor. So you may be asking yourselves, why am I telling you guys about the motor at this point? Well, I decided to reveal what's under the hood because it's actually for sale now. So I am selling my motor. So once this comes out, we're gonna be putting something different in, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what that is just yet. Um, I can tell you that it's going to be smaller, it's going to be lighter, it's going to rev a little bit higher. Um, so those are your clues for you if you guys can probably guess and figure out what's going into this thing. Before we get into why, I just want to let you guys know if you're thinking about buying one of these, uh, this motor has been completely reliable for me. Every single time it started on the first try for me. Uh, it runs great in traffic. I don't have any overheating issues ever since I figured out that I had air in my radiator. Um, the thing doesn't overheat. It runs smooth. It starts every time. Honestly, I couldn't really ask for more out of a motor. Um, it does great. Also, for everything I've done to this motor, this motor should be good for about 400 horsepower. I have a very conservative tune on here just because me personally, I don't like to see motors that are tuned to where they're on the verge of blowing up and plus I run this car uh, pretty hard when I do run it so I wanted it to be safe but um, you know it's up to you you can actually crank this thing up to to the point where it'll put out 400 horsepower alright so as far as pricing goes um, as of right now 
I'm asking for $1,800, uh, and that's gonna be intake to oil pan. Uh, that does not include the, uh, the cold air intake. This is our, really from the throttle box, from the, really from the throttle body to the oil pan. And that's a pretty fair price considering what you're getting. I've got over $3,000 worth of mods into this motor. So um, that's that. And if I don't get that, you know, while the motor's still in the car, by the time I pull the, the um, by the time I pull the motor, uh, I'll be selling it as a part out. Uh, that price does not include the ECU. Uh, if you want to get the ECU as well, um, I can work out a deal from that. Um, but as of right now, the ECU will be selling for a separate price. But in the meantime, if you're interested, uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you're local, you can come, you can see the motor run, uh, possibly even drive the car if you're, seri if you're seriously considering buying the motor. Uh, just come and see what, uh, if everything looks the way it is, uh, the way that I described it. All right, so that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, like I said, I definitely would rather sell this whole motor as one piece because it's awesome the way that it's running right now and it's just, it's just ready to go into another Mustang or into another motor swap project. And the sooner I get this thing out of here, the sooner I can get the new motor in. Um, if I get to the point where I'm ready to swap a new motor in before this thing has sold, I'm gonna end up parting it out. And the part out prices are gonna be whatever they are, but I'm not gonna part it out before I pull it. So uh, thanks for watching. Help spread the word for me, please. Let's get this motor swap going. And um, pretty much that's about it. Um, until this thing is sold, I'm, I'm gonna continue to drive this car because it, it's absolutely amazing the way it is now. Uh, there's, there's absolutely no problems with it. And if you keep watching this channel, you're gonna see. So um, yeah, like I said, get the word out for me. Help me to get this motor swap going. Thanks for watching, folks. See you guys next time.